Hey guys, so today we are making this outstanding Black Panther kitty cat cake. Look at his little paws and all of those like Black Panther elements. Duh, God, that's a got me. It is so cute. And those eyes, the way he's looking up at you like he wants a little bowl of milk. Oh gosh. I'll give you as much milk as you want, kitty cat. I love the way this cake turned out, so let's get started. My name is Rachel Geller, and I'm one of your friends. <laughs> Man, I just say whatever comes out of my mouth. Now let's get started. So Yi Chung is an amazing Malaysian artist and on Instagram his profile name is Art of Silver Fox. He posted this extremely cute baby Black Panther drawing. As soon as I saw it I thought to myself I need to turn this into a cake. It's adorable. Actually all of his creations are extremely cute. Make sure you go follow him. All design credit goes to him. Now let's get started. Now to create this Black Panther cake I'm starting with my PVC pipe cake stand and my doll cake just adding buttercream in between each layer of cake and then adding on the top so i'm placing on all my cakes in the middle of my pipe and just adding some buttercream in between each layer i went with chocolate this time um no particular reason. <laughs> now the black panther head is going to be heavy so i'm adding a support system using a pipe coupler just hammering it into place with my serrated knife and then adding on two circles of cardboard to increase the area of support. Then on went a six inch dome cake. Buttercream in the middle and my top dome cake. Then it was time to start carving this cake. So the first thing I did was flatten out the front of his face just so that I could make sure I get all the dimensions of his eyes right. And then I started to create his body. Just slowly shaving away cake, flying out the front and the sides. Once I was happy with my look, um, I realized that I wasn't happy because I carved away too much. This happens because I'm human and I make mistakes. Because I carved away too much, I added cake ball dough to certain areas of the cake. I fixed his neck, which I think was a little too thin. And I also added some cake ball dough to his cheeks as well as the top of his head. I wanted his cheeks to be like super chubby just like the Dumbo cake I created. I also carved away way too much at the front. So I fixed it. You can do this with icing too I guess but I don't know how sturdy it would be. So I did it with cake ball dough. Now I'm adding buttercream all over my cake and giving it a crumb coat. Just working the icing all around. You can give this a second coat of buttercream, but you guys guessed it. What's my answer here? Um, yep, that's it. You got it right. After I was finished crumb coating this cake, I placed it into the fridge to chill, and I was watching some Netflix, and I was actually watching Black Panther. Holy moly, I love that movie. I love the costumes, I love the dialogue. I've been following Denai Guerrero since I started watching her on The Walking Dead, and I've been very closely watching Lupita Nyong'o's career because she's kind of my crush. I think she's gonna do really good things. Did you see her in Us, the voice? that she creates when she's the red lady and she's like laughing in the house like <laughs> oh my god it's it's, uh, it's so scary and I'm curious who is your favorite Black Panther character a lot of you are gonna say T'Challa and Shuri too she's like right up there she's so charismatic very witty let me know in the comments below now I took my cake out of the fridge and I started to panel it with black fondant I'm actually paneling it with like a gray black. I was scared if I was using completely black fondant, you wouldn't be able to see all of the detail that I was creating. I actually textured this fondant before I placed it on so that my cake would have a lot of fur texture. I was scared if I wasn't gonna have any. That was really important to me because this is a kitty cat and kitty cats are furry as heck. Just worked my way all the way around the cake and I actually hid the seam at like the left sort of back corner of the cake because I knew that's where the panther tail was going to be. Just push the fondant underneath the cake using some fondant tools and then I realized that his head needed to be a little bit higher so I added some black fondant on top as well. I just wanted to make sure I got the dimensions right because this picture is so cute. If this cake wasn't as cute as that picture then this video was not going to get posted. 
Now I made sure that the back of the head was covered completely and I kind of just pushed all of the excess fondant to the front of the cake. So I knew I was going to cover the front of the panther head with another piece of fondant. Just worked it all the way around and then cut away the excess. Then I added another piece of fondant to cover the front. And I just textured the fondant as much as I could so that it looks super furry. Now I love Marvel. Well, I love... I love comic books, really. So I've created a whole bunch of X-Men and Marvel stuff just because of that love. So make sure you check out my entire Avengers Endgame playlist. There's everybody in it. You like Captain America? I got some Captain America stuff. You got some Iron Man love? I got some too. Black Widow? I got you. Captain Marvel? Maybe, hopefully, I made something, probably. And this Infinity Gauntlet. I don't like the black icing on that's on the inside, but the outside is all fancy. Check it out! Check, check, check it out. I'm gonna add some black fondant to the front of the face just so I can get his snout right. And then I added all of his fondant limbs. Just two front legs as well as two back feet. I'm gonna attach them all with a little bit of magic sauce and just blend them in with some fondant tools. I'm also gonna give him like three little toes. And these are gray fondant. They're just probably like two shades lighter than the fur fondant. Then some kitty cat ears. And I rolled pink fondant under my black fondant so that I could get the ears pink on the inside and then black on the outside. After that, it was time to start adding some detail. So I'm using the same pink fondant. It's kind of like a salmon color fondant. I'm just adding some paw pads to the back feet since you can see them. Then I gave him some little kitty cat claws. Why do I keep calling him kitty cat? This is a baby panther. Three to the back, three to the front. I screwed up here a little bit because his back feet should be tiny. A lot smaller, but oh well. Now I gave him a jet black nose so I could separate it from the rest of his face. And using some ball fondant tools, I'm just opening up the circles where his eyes are gonna be so I can fit some black fondant to create them. Then it was time to add all of my Black Panther detail. I just cut out all the shapes with some light gray fondant and just started to panel them all around his face, sticking them with some magic sauce. This was so much fun just because it was like recreating the Black Panther mask. But you're doing that on a kitty cat? Forget about it. It's so cool. My favorite part was actually adding the necklace. It's so signature, that necklace. That was how T'Challa added all of his armor. Now because my fondant was like a charcoal gray, I actually was able to add some black highlights using magic sauce and a little bit of black food coloring. That way I could highlight different parts of the panther that I wanted you to see. Dai's Black Panther is completely black, but I have a Black Panther toy that has a lot of purple detail when he's glowing from all that kinetic energy. So I decided to add some purple to my cake as well. I diluted some white and purple food coloring in some magic sauce and just painted it on with a paintbrush. Then I took some silver and white pearl luster dust, diluted that with magic sauce, and just started painting onto all the Black Panther armored features. Then I gave this baby some whiskers. I'm just sticking some petal wires on to create them. You notice, look at the eyes are all glossy. I screwed up, so I had to take them out and then replace them after I did this. Initially, I thought it would be cool if they were glossy like a real cat, but it didn't catch the light the way I wanted it to. So I took them out, I painted the bottom of the eyes a rusty brown, and then I dusted the top of them with some silver luster dust. And then, two tiny catch lights right at the top, just like the drawing. And voila! My Black Panther, baby Black Panther cake was complete. Yeah, I'm very proud of this. It's a 3D cake, I made it, but I don't think it's as cute as the image that he drew. There were some elements and proportions in the mouth that I didn't do quite right, but I'm very happy with it. Oh, I also forgot to shoot myself adding on the panther tail, but that's okay. I really love this idea that he took the Black Panther costume and then put it on a baby Black Panther. It's, 
It's how what so creative. He also did the same thing with Killmonger. I want to make sure I give him proper credit. So his name on Instagram is Art of Silver Fox, and his Twitter is Silver Fox fifty two thirteen. Make sure you follow him. Look at his stuff. His talent is ridiculous. I want to turn so many of his sketches into cakes. They're adorable. Now I'm curious, on a scale from one to one hundred, how excited for Infinity? Wait, which one? There's so many of these movies. <laughs> What's it called? How excited for Avengers Endgame are you? I'm like 95, maybe. I'm scared they're gonna kill Captain America. Oh man, I don't want that guy to die. Now make sure you hit that notification button so you can see all of my Avengers Endgame stuff. I was gonna say Infinity War again. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!